Welcome to a new Practice Better Hack video. I'm Shelly Myers, Business Success Coach for Practice Better. Today's video is all about showing you how you can easily create and brand your own goal setting form in Practice Better using a pre-made template. So step one is you want to get the form codes to download the form templates into your account and also the uh, Canva template so you can edit the form headers if you would like. So we recently um, published a blog post called Your Guide to Setting Realistic Goals with Clients. This is on our Practice Better blog, and I would highly recommend checking that out. Um, if you scroll down, you'll see that we show the um, form template code here. Actually, there's three forms. So this is a form bundle. So you'll get all three form templates with this uh, code, Client Goals 2023. And then if you scroll all the way down here at the bottom, you can click here to make a copy of the Canva template that has the form headers that you're going to see here in a minute if you want to change the colors or add your logo. Um, so that's where you can get the Canva template. So I would definitely go check out this blog. And then step two, you're going to head over to your Practice Better account. Um, you're going to go to My Practice, and then you're going to go to Forms and Waivers. So once you're in Forms and Waivers, you're going to click the red Fast Action button, and then the first option here, Create from a Template. Um, then you're going to go here to Unlock Templates, and you're going to type in Client Goal, or you can copy and paste the form code and then hit submit and you'll see the three forms here at the top. So first we're going to, um, you will need to download these separately. So we're going to do this one first. So you're just going to click this. Now this is just telling you that I did add a couple placeholders to pull in the client's first name just to personalize the forms a little bit. So you can just click got it. Um, there. You can easily take those placeholders out if you wanted to. So here is the form. Now what I like to do, um, and you you don't have to do this, but I like to um, call this the original form. So I always like to make a duplicate of a form just in case I do a lot of editing and then for some reason I want to access the original form. So I'm actually going to just save this, save and exit. And then you can see here, this is the form that I just downloaded to my account. And I'm just going to click on the three dots and say duplicate. So now it's going to say copy. I'm just going to delete. So this is the, the form that I'm going to edit and use. And then maybe eventually I'll delete that original copy if I, if I don't need that anymore. So here, this is the actual form. You can see the placeholder here. Um, it's going to pull in whichever client you send this to. It's going to pull in their first name. So I did create some headers here in Canva. So if you wanted to change the color or just change those headers, you can click on um, the little pencil icon. So this is really just an image. So if you click the image and delete it, we can go and change the colors and add the new header. Um, so once you add the Canva template to your Canva account, you're going to see these headers for the three forms. Um, so also what I like to do here is just duplicate. So if you just wanted to keep the original, you can come up here and duplicate it. So if you want to change the background color, you're just going to click on the image here and then go to the colors. And I'm going to change it so it matches my brand color in my Practice Better platform. And then maybe you want to use a different image. You can get rid of that image. I uploaded my logo, so I'm going to just show you. I'm going to put the logo here. Uh, maybe change this a little bit. So once you get the image to how you would like it, I mean, you can change the fonts, you can do all sorts of stuff, but I just wanted to at least give you the template that I used in these form images. So once you get it here, you can click on share and then we're going to, um, we are going to click on download. 
And then you're not going to download all five of the images. So I just want to download the first image. So I'm going to uncheck that and then I'm going to check page one and then I'm going to say download. So you're just going to download it to your computer. I'm just going to change this here. Okay, so once it's downloaded to your computer, then you can come back over to your Practice Better account. You can click in the box where you would like to insert the image. So I'm just going to put it where it was before. So I click this um, and then insert image. And here's the one that I just downloaded. So now you can see that it matches the color in my Practice Better platform. And I also pulled in my logo here. So you could, if you wanted to resize it. Um, you can do other styling with it, but I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm going to leave everything else here the same. And, th and then you want to make sure to click done. So now you have, um, you know, you just changed the header image. So now you can check out the rest of the form. Maybe you want to use it as it is, or maybe you just want to make a couple edits to this form. So just a couple examples. Um, maybe you wanted to change um, here, you want to change the text. So any of these questions, you can just come up and click the pencil icon. Maybe you want to say, you know, what is your big goal for the year? So you, this is just an easy one. You can, you know, change the text there. And then here, maybe you you know, want to leave the text the same, but you want to change the scale. So maybe you just want it to be one through five instead of one through 10. Um, so this could be not important. And then this could be very important. Um, so that's another easy one where you're just changing the scale. Um, another one, let's say down here, you wanted to change this one to a different question type. So you could click the pencil. Right now, this is a long response and it has several questions in it, but maybe you want to set this up as a table instead. So what you could do is um, take out some of these questions. So how did you do it? I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put it down in the question. Um, what approach did you take? Just put that down here. And then did you develop any habits or skills to achieve it? So I'm going to put that down here. So they're just going to have this, this um, think about the last time you achieved a significant goal in your life. And then you're just creating a table. You can put something like describe below. Um, so now they have the three questions related to thinking about the last significant goal in their life. And if you wanted to um, let the client add more entries, you could click that. So now um, it's just a different way to, for them to answer the question. It's just in more of a table format instead of um, them just answering in the long in the long response format. So you can pull in, like if you wanted to add a yes, no question or any of these question types, you can click on it over here in the toolbox and you can just drag it to where in the form you wanna add it. And then you can just add your question um, and click done. Now, Anytime you just click on one of these, it's going to actually add it to the very bottom of the form unless you click and drag like I just showed you. So if there are other questions that you want to add to this form, you can easily do that. You can change any of the text here. One other thing you could do, um, maybe you want to add your logo at the bottom. So I'm going to click the pencil and then I'm going to put my cursor where I want to add my logo. I'm going to say insert image and I'm just going to grab my logo. So again, you see the placeholder here, um, but you can add any text that you want um, just to personalize this form 
to your practice and how you work with your clients. So now you have your logo here at the bottom. So again, once you get the form how you would like it, make sure to save it. You can hit save and exit. And now you'll see that I have the original form and the one that I'm going to use. So I could um, click on change order and I could take this form and just move it down to the bottom of my list. So, you know, in case I want to access it later. Now, again, if you want to download the other two forms, you're going to come back here and click on create from template, unlock template, client goals. Whoops. 2023 and now so we already downloaded and edited this one and now we can click on this one and go into edit mode so again you can do just do the very same thing i showed you with the header um, and customize that and then you can check out this form make any changes you would like or you can use it as is um, and then just click save and exit and it's going to add it to your list of forms. So here we have the setting smart and then you'll go back and do that for the third form. So that's how you can easily create and brand your own goal setting form in practice better using a pre-made template. I hope you enjoyed this practice better hack video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch.